funny. I felt like. What's popping y'all? Summer is officially here. And I'm so excited because today I am trying out some summer life hacks slash fun things to do in summer. I'm really excited about all of these. Also, I'm doing a lot of TikToks today, which I'm so excited about. Follow me on TikTok, I just joined. It's about time I got a TikTok, honestly. I always hear people telling me that they watch me on TikTok. Somebody had taken my username and was posting edits of my videos. And they had like all these followers, hundreds of thousands of followers. But I have recovered my account and you can follow me right here. I am so excited because today I'm actually posting a lot of TikToks. I didn't realize that you can get so creative with it. I mean, I knew that they were fun and stuff, but I didn't realize how creative you can get and like how fun and simple they could be to make. Literally in this video alone, I got so many TikToks out of it. It's a whole new short form video app that I'm so excited about because this is so new to me. And I want to challenge you to go follow me on TikTok because I actually TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> TikTok. Wow, I'm an idiot. Let's see how many followers I can get to see an idea of how many of you guys are watching me that go on TikTok as well. I was scrolling through TikTok and I was like, this is like that weird side of the internet where it's like quirky and so creative and so authentic in a weird way that I relate to so much. Like that is where I belong. Like I'm so excited about it. And they actually recently launched this new hashtag, hashtag summer hacks, which I'm super excited about because summer is officially here and I'm all about it. If it's perfectly with this video, I'm filming a video, but also making all these TikToks out of it. I'm like, okay. And I'm gonna show you one of my TikToks that I'm actually pretty proud of right here. Hey, baby. Hiya, puppy. <laughs> Cute. All right, Foxy. All right, Foxy. Foxy. Sister, we gotta go. <laughs> hey, hold on, puppy. Working with dog talent. Okay. Cute. Wow. Oh, oh that's oh. so cute. You look a baby. That no. <laughs> Did you like it? I hope you did because I think it's actually pretty fun. So excited to keep posting on there, by the way. I already took my rings off because we're getting dirty today. I am so ready. It is hot outside. Let's get started. Let's go do some fun summer hacks. There's nothing more annoying about summer than getting bit by all these freaking bugs. So today we are doing a DIY bug repellent. And it works pretty well. I've actually tried this before. First, I took my catnip and I took some fresh mint and I minced them or chopped them or whatever you want to call it. Just chop those suckers up. I boiled two cups of water. Once the water reached its boil, we went ahead and added the catnip and the mint. Mix it up and let it simmer. And now we're gonna prepare to strain out the leaves. I put my colander in a bowl and I also went in with a cloth. Most people would use cheesecloth, but I actually just used a random hand towel and it worked pretty good. This is mainly so that the leaves don't get stuck in your colander. I actually went ahead and with my hand and just squeezed out all the water. Also, make sure to let it cool before you go in with your hands. It was a little hot at first. Once I have my liquid that honestly reminded me a lot of tea, it actually smelled pretty bomb. I put it in my spray bottle and I actually only filled up half of it because the other half we're gonna fill it up with witch hazel. So in the end, it's one part leaf concoction and one part witch hazel. Now stir it up a little bit, give it a little shake, and you are good to go. Now when you're out trying to eat some fruit or just doing your thing, spray this on yourselves and those bugs will not bug you. I actually really like this because it doesn't stink or stick. Also, there is no chemicals in this and it's natural. <laughs> Okay, so I saw this really cool slushy soda trick and I really want to try it. So there's some specifics to this, but I found it online and it seems pretty simple. So all you really do is you shake up the soda and this works with any soda. Then you lay your soda flat in the freezer for exactly three hours and 15 minutes. But I gotta say, I kind of experimented with this. Make sure you set that alarm. I actually used six different bottles because I really wanted to get this to work and some of them did and some of them didn't. When you take out your soda, make sure to go to an area where you're ready to get a little bit messy because this might spew all over you. Ah, napkins. Oh, so now. 
So there's different ways to do this, but the most popular way is you open the bottle, release some pressure, then close the bottle up and flip it upside down and voila, magic, so they say. And then there's another method when you pour it into a cold bowl and it turns into a slushy. But I gotta say the one that works is actually the coolest one, which is basically just releasing the pressure and flipping it upside down. And voila, you have a soda slushy. I mean, this one's getting really cold in my hands. Oh my God, oh my God, wait. I mean, I definitely see slushy. So I know you guys have seen this hat go around like crazy and if you haven't, there apparently is a right way to eat a pineapple. But we actually tried it out and we were so excited because Alex, behind the camera, I did it with a smaller one, has done this before and it worked perfectly fine for her. It could have been the pineapple we were using the day. I honestly don't know what we did wrong, but I do know that there's also other fun hacks to eat other fruit, so I attempted those. Let's start with an orange. Pretty simple, right? We're gonna cut the ends off the sucker. And then we're just gonna cut halfway through. Then you're basically gonna start to unroll this and it's gonna come apart naturally. I've been eating oranges wrong my whole life and this is actually so incredibly easy. Next we have a mango and I've actually been doing this specific hack for quite a bit. So just like any other mango, you would cut the sides off and then we're just gonna take a cup. You don't wanna run into an issue where you put too much pressure on something and it breaks. So preferably plastic. All right, so hear me out, super simple. You're gonna use the edge of the cup and you're just gonna use that to scoop it off of the peel. I did that in two seconds earlier, just saying. It's a competition. It's a slime muscle, squishy. Can't really, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I hope you enjoy these fruit hacks and let me know if you can get the pineapple thing to work because I don't know if it's just me. Okay, I saw a YouTuber try this one out where you take pictures of a display on your computer, but you're holding up drinks in front of it or really anything you want in front of it to make it look like you're in another scenery, which I think it's crazy because this is kind of fooling the internet and that just shows you what you can do on social media. This is like so much harder than I thought. Oh my God. So I used a few pictures that I've taken on trips or that my friends have taken. Some of these were a little bit more complicated than others. I would definitely suggest natural lighting with this because we had a lot of glare going on with our studio lights. Some of them, it's a no from me. But you could definitely pull this off if you really want to, which is kind of crazy. You are She's ready for summer. I have seen so many different DIY tanning lotions. I'm not gonna lie, they're usually fails. So I really wanna try the coffee one. All you need is some lotion and instant coffee. I'm really surprised I haven't used this before. There's not really any exact measurements. Just eyeball it until you get a desired color that you want. We tried this on Peter and boy, I gotta say, I think it worked. Oh my God, Peter. Oh my God, this is actually so soft. If this actually works, it's gonna be amazing. It actually feels really soft though, like it doesn't feel like Does oily. Does it feel sticky or anything? No. Like what does it feel like? Just like, my skin smells like coffee though. Okay, I'm, something's going on. We put a lot on and then we wipe the excess off with some paper towels. Okay, there's definitely a huge difference, dude. Oh my God, you look golden. Turn more towards the sun. There you She's go. golden. Spirit fingers. Cute, look at that. You are She's farmers. ready for summer. <laughs> it's kind of sticky, but I think because my Did palm is sweaty. Is I feel insane. like this is perfect for like a very last minute photo shoot. And like you really need a tan. And it's pretty Can even I try too. it on my legs? Oh my Sorry. God, how much do I put? Alex, do you think that's enough? Yeah. Oh my God, okay. Oh my God, sorry, I haven't shaved my legs. It's okay. You could instantly see it, like instantly. Yeah, it's crazy. Let me see the legs together. So does oh this look more God. like a spray tan to you, or? It does look more like a spray tan. Not spray tans are very does. expensive. They're like over $100, so this could They're save you really a good buck. But at the end of the day, I gotta admit, I feel like it's not a practical thing to use if you're moving around, sweating, or doing any type of activity. <gasps> but I mean, if you need a quick tan for a photo shoot, this might be exactly what you need. 
I remember back in the days when I did not have a pool, but all you really need for a DIY pool is a friend with a truck. So Raul Peter and I decided to fill this up and make it a pool. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Ready? Why don't you why look at me? So Raul Peter and I, <laughs> we're going to make a pool out of the bed of the truck. And I am so excited because I'm pretty sure I've done this when I was like five years old. Back <laughs> in the day when we didn't have a pool, we had a pickup truck and a tarp and a water hose. And running water. So here we go. Let's do it! <laughs> What happened to these toes? They look like they were right over. Is that bubble bath? It's not really turning bubbly. Today, we're gonna swim with some laps. It's like oh my god, this is cold, cold Peter. It's cold. <laughs> <laughs> it's Christmas. <laughs> it's summer, summer, sis. Oh, Wrong season. Wrong season. Fall off the edge and like just go off. <laughs> oh, what a peaceful afternoon. I like Back the rolls. I like, I like uh, those for. Yeah. Ah! Do you want that clip or not? Like, are we kind of driving away a little bit? Kinda I feel like it's it's not terrified. necessary because it's actually scary, dude. We could like really hurt ourselves. Well, one's not gonna floor it either. I don't okay. know. Let's not I be mean, David Dobrik I mean, right now. Ugh, I don't know, but summer is just like my time to thrive, you know. <laughs> we love her. We love summer. Maybe it's like that way, yeah. but you come this oh, way. Oh, I'm sorry, I farted. <laughs> now, once you get used to the water, it's so peaceful, so nice. It's actually not even cold anymore. No, huh? it's like, like fresh. It's like, it's just like a good old day. Good old summer day. God, throw back! Did you guys were like literally fighting? Yeah, in the kayak? It was so, it was so funny. I felt like. <laughs> It made it all the way out there. Well, hey, actually, actually, didn't slip at all. <laughs> wow, Niagara Falls is so beautiful this time of year. King of the rock, imagine. That was actually so much fun and freaking messy. Like so messy, but so much fun. I love doing these videos where I'm like trying summer hacks. Comment down below which one was your favorite. You already know my favorite, hands down, was the freaking pool truck. Truck, pool, whatever. And also making a lot of TikToks today was just like literally the highlight of my day. So don't forget to follow me on TikTok. I'm so excited to keep posting on there. I love testing these out for you guys. So comment hashtag summer hacks down below and see if you guys want me to do another part to this series this summer and also head over to TikTok. TikTok. <laughs> I'm done. Oh my God. Head over to TikTok and make sure to comment summer hacks as well to let me know some of your fun summer hacks. I would love to try. Thank you guys so much for watching. It has been a fun, wonderful summer day. I'll see y'all on TikTok. Bye.